Welcome back, guys. Barrick here, Equity Podcast. Building upper body strength. That's what we're talking about today. During this time of year, hence the hat, what we see a lot is people thinking about um, what their goals and what they're striving for. Um, what they're striving for. What are they looking to accomplish in the next year? And what we want to do is we want to, uh, so what we see a lot of times, sorry, is uh, upper body strength. That is what we're looking for. And a lot of times we see that um, people want that because they want to do a pull-up or they want to do a push-up or they want to be able to start doing some heavier weights or, you know, they just want to, they want to level up. They want to take that next step, right? They're tired of doing ring rows or banded pull-ups or doing elevated push-ups, right? They're tired of doing that. They want to, they want to take that next step and the, the limiting factor is that upper body strength. Um, you know, being strong up top is just cool too. You know, being able to do all those things and um, having a confidence of having that, um, that upper body strength is, is nice. <laughs> so I wanna break it down a little bit. So where I'm coming from from this is the why. So we're looking, like being able to do a strict pull up, getting uh, push ups from the ground, like that we're gonna use that as like our benchmark, all right? So let's say we're lacking in those things. So our first thing is let's focus on the basics of building strength. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on upper body strength, particularly. So what we're gonna focus on is a couple different things. The first one is planes of motion. What we wanna do is we wanna focus on vertical pressing um, we want to on vertical pulling right so your hands are overhead you're pressing up or pulling down um, then we have horizontal pushing think of a push-up or a bench and a horizontal pull like ring rows think of bent over row then we also have static movements um, this is where we're building static strength stability in the, in that upper body um, you can think planks and that type of thing. Um, we can also get into like all the different muscles, right? You have your arms, which in includes a lot, right? We have the biceps and triceps, and then we have the shoulders, the delts, and all this stuff. We have the back, the upper back, the lats, um, and that even goes all, almost all the way down to the lower back. We have the chest and then the midline. Working on all those things are gonna help us build upper body strength. And we need to make sure that we're working on all of them. Like working on your press is gonna help your pull. Working on your pull is gonna help your press. It all helps the system. And that's one of the reasons we do the type of workouts that we do is because um, we understand that working out in the gym is gonna help us in the real world. And, d and getting our um, thruster up is gonna help our other movements and other areas. And when our deadlift goes up, our, our pressing is probably gonna be going up as well. All right, so we wanna understand those basics. The planes of motion, we wanna get some static work in there. We wanna make sure we're hitting all the different muscles and parts of the upper body as well. All right, so that's kind of like the basics. The next one that I wanna talk about is focus. So generally, again, with our program, we're trying to do something different every day. And the reason that we're doing that is because um, it keeps it fun. Um, and you know, one of the biggest things, if, if you're not having fun, you're not gonna keep doing those things, right? So we wanna keep it varied and keep it fun and make sure that we are consistent, right? The next thing uh, with that is that um, it keeps the body guessing, right? Um, when you're doing the same thing over and over again, your body is like, okay, they're doing that thing again. So we want to keep the keep the body guessing, and that that can that can do a lot of good for you. And and the the part of this with the focus is our time horizon for goal. Like we want to be good at everything. All right, we want to be able to we want to be able to do as many of the things in life that whatever life throws us, we want to be able to do those things. But our time horizon is really long. Right, we're we're in this for the health and fitness and longevity side of things. But I really want to do a pull up and push up like yesterday, <laughs> right? So 
in order, so if we're only doing pull-ups once every 10 days, you know, it's going to be real, like, you you can get better pull-ups in the long term. You're, you're, you'll get there, um, especially because all the other movements are going to help with that pull-up as well, like just increase creating increased strength overall is going to help with that. Um, eating better is going to help that. But what we can do is we can put some focus on just this one thing because we know this is a specific goal we have, so we can put some focus and attention on that, right? If I start doing something, like think about just working out in general. Like if I'm doing it once a week, what kind of results am I going to have? If I start working out three to five days a week, now what kind of results am I have? Like much bigger. So what we can do is we can, we can put some focus in this to accelerate our progress, right? So what we're going to do is we're, instead of doing pull-ups or some kind of pulling, if the goal is pull-ups, once a week, what we're going to do is we're going to try and get that in twice a week plus doing our workouts, right? And having a structured program to do that, a structured focus can really assist with this. Yes, that structured program is going to be very it's going to be static and it's going to be like the same thing every week or something very similar and you're going to do it once and then probably going to do it again and then again and then again but you have the other workout like it, we're, this is just a focus time to make sure that we're getting that upper body strength to be able to do a pull up to be able to do a push up so we, we need to get a little bit boring a little bit more um, a little bit more focused to make sure that we're getting to where we want to get and the, the next thing, so that's the focus. We need to, we need to focus on what we're doing. We can't just keep our fingers crossed and do it. We need to put some extra effort. We need to put some extra focus into it. The next one is time. So with time, building strength takes time. It is not, oh, I'm going to do a six-week program and then I'm done. Like It takes a long time to build strength, like a long time. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that um, we understand that this isn't just going to be, oh, I'm going to do a four-week cycle, and then I'm going to be ready to go. It, like, could that happen? Sure. If you already have, like, a really good base, that could happen. But you need to understand that to build really lasting strength, to get where you want to get, it's going to take time, right? Um, even years it could take. The more focus we put on that, the faster we can accelerate that process. The other thing I want to talk about is with the last, the last, oh no, not the, um, the, so the next one is levers. What I mean by levers is what are the different things we can pull, um, or a, let's talk a different lever. What are the things that we can do to build to get a pull up or a push up? What we're talking about right now is building upper body strength. That is the the first lever. Let's get stronger, right? The other lever, most of the time people are want to build upper body strength. Most of the time is for gymnastic work, pull ups, push ups. There's other reasons, um, but one of the things that you can do is another lever to pull for gymnastic movements is body weight. If you weigh less, body weight movements are going to be easier, right? So um, finding that appropriate body weight that allows you to do the gymnastics that you want to do, that lets you hit the other numbers that you want to do, that lets you live the life that you want to live, um, is going to be another lever we can pull, right? But we can always stand to get a little stronger, right? Um, being sh you, nobody ever said, "I wish I wasn't. I wish I wasn't stronger." So. All right, last one is accountability. It's very easy to be like, yes, this is what I want, and then to start it and then fall off. So there's two ways that we can fight this. One, it's getting on some kind of structured program. That can be something that you set up on your own. Hey, every Tuesday I'm going to work on upper body strength. Every Tuesday and Thursday, every Monday and Thursday, whenever, and just say, hey, I'm going to spend 30 minutes doing that thing. Right? Go after it. Do it. Right? Focusing on that twice a week can definitely help you get there. It's going to help you get there. You're going to get better doing that. Another way is to get help. 
Um, so we actually have a resource on our website. If you go under, you know, go to equity.fitness, go to free stuff, scroll down, and it says free upper body, or what does it say? It says upper body strength program, or free upper body strength program. Let's check it out. I can't remember what I called it. Uh, start here, and then you go under the free stuff, click. Uh, upper body strength program, and it's free completely free you just click download um, and then you get a program so this program I think um, it's two workouts per week each session is supposed to be about 30 minutes you should be able to complete it in 30 minutes if you're taking longer than that you're probably taking too long we need to get a little more focused right so this is a great place to start get some focus on what you're doing. The next step with the, from that would be get some individual design. Our hybrid uh, memberships um, are individual design. Um, so we have two different levels of that. We have like our accessory program where we build accessories that complement that are goals towards what you're working on and also towards um, uh, you know what the workouts are for that week. So you'll kind of you'll get the workouts in advance and then you'll get your accessory work to help you get there. Um, so that's an option. Then we have the full individual design where you get goals for each workout as well. Um, and then, you know, if the goals they build upper body strength, we can focus on, you know, these workouts, we're going to focus on building upper body strength. That'll be at our main point um, for a period of time, right? Or maybe we have a different goal in mind along with some accessory work, right? So that's the, the, the accountab accountability piece. Having somebody else there to help guide you is going to help you get there faster. Right? You can get there alone, just spend a little bit more time, a little more focus time, a couple of days a week. Get that program as that next level. It's free. Um, I have a sheet, like I have a video of every single movement. I have a log sheet, so you have all the description of the program at the top, and then at the bottom I have a log, so you can print that out and you can just log what you do. Um, so there's description of everything and the log book to make sure that you're hitting what you're doing and you can see your progress. Right? And there's a test and then there's a pre-test and a post-test to see what kind of results we're doing. And once you go through that, you can just go through it again. So highly recommend checking that out. Um, and then if you want to you know, ch try that first, and then if you want to try something a little bit more, get a little bit more specific, get a little more help, you know, uh, shoot me an email and we can um, work on what you want to get towards. That's all I got today uh, for you guys. Building upper body strength focus. So what do we have? The basics, planes of motion. We got focus. We got, it's going to take some time. We have the different layers and then we have accountability. Keep yourself accountable to it. Thank you guys so much. Um, you know, if you found this helpful, subscribe. If not, I hope you liked it. Cheers guys.